All right, so this is what to do if you run into this problem while uh, setting up your TrueNAS system. So first you hit 9 to enter the shell. And then you need to go up a directory, so cd dot dot. And then uh, you want to go to the boot directory, so cd boot. And then open up the loader file, so vi uh, loader dot conf. Press I to go into edit mode. And then type these two lines. It doesn't really matter where you put them, but I think this is looks like the most emptiest spot. You have to do that. Uh, type colon w to save, and then colon q to quit. Type exit to quit the shell, and then go ahead and reboot. Uh, just a warning that I ended up blue screening my Windows installation doing this. I don't know if it was related or not, but that was a big problem. If, if, if this happens to anybody else, um, let me know and I'll make a video about what I did to fix it. Yeah, so the problem with this is that if you install a new version of TrueNAS, you have to do this again. So what they recommend instead is adding it as a tunable into your TrueNAS system. So that it'll persist upon uh, different installations. Yeah, so let's, I'll show you how to do that now. Alright, so once you somehow get into your TrueNAS system, you want to go to System, Tunables, then I already have mine here. Go Add, Variable, if Reload, Values, yes, uh, Loader, and then add a description if you want. And click submit. Okay. And then if rename and then values boot modules if we dot ko. And that's it. Now make sure you're on Shunaz 12 version uh, U6. Apparently, the first version of this got working. Anyway, let's offer this one. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.